All right, so you want to get a cloud engineering role in 2025. Let's break this down in a couple of steps. First, I need you to be brutally honest with yourself if this is something that you want to do, all right? Social media has flooded uh, the field with the opinion that you could get in with like a couple of certifications or that if you don't know how to code, you can still get into cloud engineering. And I'm here to tell you that all of that is BS. In this market, you are not going to land a cloud engineering role as your first job, point blank. It doesn't matter what degree you have. It doesn't matter what boot camp you went to. If you know someone who happens to be able to refer you, uh, that gives you a better chance, of course. Uh, if you know someone who owns a company who has a role open, that's that's completely different. That will withstand any difficult market. But for the majority of us, the reality is, of course, anything is possible, but the reality is that your first job in tech is most likely not going to be a cloud engineering role. Is If that is something that you cannot accept and you're like, that's ridiculous, uh, the market should be easier, then you might want to assess if this is a path that you want to take because the reality is that it's going to be difficult, right? You're going to have to work your way up, right? Uh, and that's not something new for this market. And I think that's what I've loved so much about the operations and the IT side of the tech field is it's been notoriously more friendlier to people who want to work their way up from a non-traditional background. I'm a great example of that. I have no college degree. I started working at a retail store and then worked my way up to working in cloud engineering at Microsoft. It's very possible, but it takes time. So if you're willing to put in that work and that commitment and that discipline that it takes, it's possible. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be hard. So step one, accept that. And if this is something that you don't wanna do, if you rather put that work towards another field, then that's awesome. You know, figure that out for yourself. Okay. Two, I need you to assess your current skill set and compare it to the job you want to land. So go to LinkedIn Jobs or Indeed or wherever you find job listings for your area and select the roles that you're interested in. Okay. So that could be like a sysadmin, a cloud admin, anything that gives you exposure to cloud, I think should be fair game. Okay. And then grab the descriptions and use that sort of as like your study guide. Like these are the things that I need to know. Okay. By the end of the year, you should be from a skill set perspective in a position where you know everything to apply to those types of roles. Right. And you need to assess where you're at currently. Right. If you know the majority of things, perfect. It's going to take you less time to learn whatever you need to learn. If you know nothing, then the, the entire year you're probably going to be dedicated to learning that kind of stuff, right? Do not expect to be able to learn cloud engineering in two weeks. I know people pass certifications left and right, and they're sharing on LinkedIn, like I passed this in one week. I promise you, if I were to interview one of those people, guarantee that they do not know what they're talking about. I'd rather you spend six months studying for one certification and building a project with the skills that you've gained from studying that certification than taking 13 certifications out of memory, okay? So assess where you're at, figure out what you need to learn, okay? That's step one. And also have have like those, those roles that you're looking up on these job listing sites as sort of your, your goal, right? So you have uh, somewhere to, to aim, okay? You might end up applying for different related roles, but you have that list of stuff that you're studying, okay? Two, if you have no technical experience whatsoever, your first job should be something like help desk or some support role, some analyst role, something that gets you in the door. These jobs suck. I worked two of them. I know that they suck, but they give you the foundation of documentation, ticketing system, working under pressure, 
people skills, and troubleshooting. To this day, those are skills that I use and have helped me thrive in my career. The sooner you get them, the better you are. And I'm so happy that my first roles gave me those. And they can do the same for you. Go and get you a support role. They suck. They pay like terrible. But they will give you the experience that you need. Okay? I would rather you go and do that. Get your foot in the door in tech. Then you kind of just spend the year like just learning and working in something that isn't necessarily relevant to tech. Unless if you have like a salary expectation that you need to have and like a help desk role isn't going to work, then I understand. But for people who are like fresh into their like careers and I don't know, just graduated school or, you know, if you have the freedom to be able to start in help desk, highly recommend you do that. For everyone else, so if you have some kind of like sales background, some education background, some like healthcare background, whatever it is, you need to find an entry level tech role that leverages your, your background and then gives you exposure to tech. So that's kind of like a stepping stone role. So that's going to be something like if you're in your sales, like you can do like tech sales, right? If you're in education, you can do, there's a lot of like online training platforms that need people who are good in education, who can teach stuff like that. You get what I'm saying. So maybe help desk isn't the right role for you, but these roles, they tend to pay a little better uh, and they'll leverage the experience that you have as well. Okay. So that's a second step. Get into that, that role, right? So this year. And then the third, was it three? Is that three or four? I don't know. Third step or fourth step is I need you to take two certs and build two projects. At the beginning, you had to assess your skills and you had to figure out which job you're going to go for. And then you're going to, you know, look at the description. Oftentimes they'll name certifications that you should have. Get those. And if they don't name, just go and search, oh, which certifications are relevant to this role, right? Take, I would recommend like an associate level cloud certification regardless. So something like the AZ-104, the AZ-204, etc. And a complementary cert to that. So like a Linux, a networking, a security, one, one in the area that you want to niche into, right? From that first certification that you take, build a project off of those skills and then go and take the second one and then build a project. Either implement those skills into your first project or build another project. That's what I recommend. With everything I have just told you, that's probably going to take you a year. Ideally, you would be working and then doing all the learning and stuff and building on the side. That's going to be your best setup because that way you have a very productive year of like working already in that entry level role and then doing the things on the side, right? Even if you don't land a role or like an entry level role right away, apply, you know, face the rejections. They suck. I've had people. I've, I had a recruiter call me. This was when I was going for, I was already working help desk and trying to get my next step. And I was applying to like sysadmin roles at higher level help desk roles. I had recruiters call me just to like brutally, brutally laugh at my resume. So I've faced so much rejection. I was rejected to my, to Microsoft two, I think two, three times, two or three times before landing the role now. You have to become comfortable with rejection and you have to become comfortable with interviewing, right? That, that first phone screen, you know, as many of those as you can get, awesome. If you land a role the first time on a round, awesome. Keep doing it, keep practicing, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't be afraid to face the rejection. Apply, apply, apply. I know it sucks, but guess what? It sucks for everybody. This isn't specific to you. This isn't personalized to you. Put in the work now, start applying now, just go and do it. And then as you apply, keep building, keep working, keep, you know, keep, keep, you know, interacting with communities. Like we have the learn to cloud discord, come and chat with us, um, comment on the, my videos, like whatever it is that helps you, you know, interact with the community, go to events, things like that. Keep going, keep going, keep grinding, keep hustling. It sucks. It is so difficult. 
but I promise you it is so worth it. I went from making $15 an hour to making over $200,000 base. It is so possible, I promise you. As long as you have the mentality that it is going to be a lot of work and it's gonna take time and you're not looking for something quick or shortcuts, you'll make it, okay? All right, that's it for this video. Happy New Year, go out and crush your goals. Journal often, read a lot, write a lot, be with your loved ones, stay off, stay off like social media and not only use it for like, you know, something positive and like, you know, to interact with community and stuff, but, you know, drink water, uh, I don't know, all that good stuff. All right, I'll see you in the next video.